I'm Deputy Chief Mike Federico, Toronto Police Service. Today, August the 27th, the Minister of Community Safety announced her decision to allow Chiefs of Police to expand the deployment of CEWs to frontline police officers. CEW stands for Conducted Energy Weapon, commonly or colloquially known as the TASER. It is an electromuscular control device. We welcome uh, the Minister's announcement because we believe the CEWs offer an effective use of force options for police officers who are facing situations where a force response is required. Uh, in the Toronto experience, we have um, about 500, over 500 uh, CEWs currently uh, assigned to frontline supervisors and, uh, and specialty units like the Emergency Task Force. The Minister's decision allows us to start to deploy more of them to our frontline officers where there is a demonstrated need because police officers on answering calls for service or on routine patrol actually do encounter situations where a use of force option would be appropriate. So um, we're quite uh, um, interested in deploying the devices in circumstances where police officers will be um, better equipped uh, with more options to resolve situations safely. Toronto Police deployed the device about 273 times in 2012. Over half of that, over 140 times, the police officers simply had to display or demonstrate the weapon. So it didn't even require the officer to apply the weapon. And when I talk about, or the Toronto Police talk about using the weapon, we include just demonstrating it, just showing the person that we have the weapon in our possession and that if the, uh, the prepared to use it if the circumstances dictate. And that usually gets the person to calm down or comply. So we have successfully resolved many, many cases. Over half of the t number of times we've used the CEW, we've resolved the situation without actually applying the device, just simply demonstrating it. Toronto Police experience there are very very few injuries associated with the CEW. Um, the most common injury when the device is actually used is the probes have penetrated the skin we remove the probe. We have no reports of serious bodily harm as a result of the CEW use. We are prepared though and officers are trained to be alert to um, somebody falling after a full deployment has been used, so officers are prepared to move in to make sure that the person is protected so that they don't injure themselves as a secondary event to a CEW. But the actual use of the CEW in Toronto's experience has not resulted in a serious bodily injury to the person it was used on. CEWs have proven to be an effective use of force option. Studies after studies have shown that they are less likely to cause injuries than uh, the conventional police force options, empty hands techniques, uh, expandable batons and OC spray. The introduction of the CEWs into the police inventory has often prompted a discussion in the community about the use of force against those who suffer from emotional disturbance or mental illness. I'd like to make the distinction that a discussion about use of force is not a discussion about people's emotional state or mental uh, health. Very rarely was a police officer required to use force to make that apprehension. And so the, the connection between the introduction of a weapon into police inventory and its anticipated use or the person against which it will be used, um, I would caution against any conclusions being drawn. This is not a device to be introduced into police inventory so that we can deal with people who are emotionally disturbed. People who are in emotional disturbance or, mental, or suffering from a mental disorder are at no greater risk of causing harm to, uh, to themselves or to others than the general public. In fact, often they're victims of violence. In the vast majority of those cases, the matter is disposed of 
um, without resorting to an apprehension, without introducing the person to the criminal justice system, and without resorting to use of force. So a discussion about the introduction of a particular piece of equipment into the police inventory ought not to automatically prompt a discussion about police response to those who are suffering from emotional disturbance or a mental disorder. Police response to those who are in crisis is a response to provide them with care. Toronto Police routinely encounter people who are emotionally disturbed. In 2011 and in 2012, that reached as high as 20,000 people. That is, police officers responding to people who required some form of intervention. That does not mean that those people required hospitalization or apprehension. It doesn't re mean that those people were actually apprehended and where use of force was used. It's not uncommon for police officers to encounter people who are emotionally disturbed. Of those 20,000, we apprehended on average about 8,500 people under the Mental Health Act. And of those, most of them were diverted out of the criminal justice in the mental health system. I've been asked whether the introduction of the CW, the, the, sorry, the broader or wider spread introduction of the CW into our front lines will result in uh, police officers using it as the first recourse to resolve a situation. Um, police officers are trained and expected to apply a decision-making process that's reflected in the use of force model. That requires police officers to constantly assess what they're facing and whether or not use of force is needed and then what tool or weapon to bring to bear. The CEW is classified as an intermediate weapon. That means that it's available to a police officer where the subject's behavior is assaultive, a little less than the subject's behavior is constitutes serious bodily injury or death. So the device is to be used only when the officer has decided that a use of force is necessary and only then to be used if it's to control somebody who's assaultive. The Chiefs of Police believe that the introduction of the CEW accompanied by proper training proper supervision and accountability will provide enhanced public safety to both our officers and members of the community. Police officer response to a threat of violence or harm, that's a use of force discussion. And we believe the CEW now gives an officer one more safe option to bringing a resolution.